Hello and welcome Aries. Welcome to your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, what we do here, we will divide the reading into three areas because it makes it easier to understand. These areas are, firstly, we will look at the overall energy for the months of March 2023 for the sign of Aries before we then look at your emotional core and that means see if there's any pain that can go, if there's love coming in, that sort of thing. Before we then finally look at opportunities and opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you, uh, both financially as well as emotionally, um, all that kind of stuff. So let's just dive right in here. <clears throat> Aries, are you ready? <clears throat> for your overall energy, for the months ahead, you have passion and you have the fifth house. And five is the number of change. So when it comes to your overall energy, what you're being asked is to allow for things not to be static, right? If there's new things coming in, don't fight them, don't be worried about them. Right? It might be actually a really good thing if things are um, a bit shaken up. right? And then passion obviously means for you to, to go for what it is you want um, and, and go after what it is you want. Uh, and, and even the things that you find are a bit tedious or a bit more difficult at this point in time, if you go there passionately as if everything means something, because guess what, Aries? Everything means something, even if we don't always understand it. So be passionate about life. Be passionate about whatever it is that comes to you, Aries. Really, really important. This is your, this is your overall energy for the months ahead. And now we're looking at your emotional core and see what the universe has got for you there. Yeah. <laughs> and the sun is your energy for your emotional core and as you can see here hope you can see this um it has the number 18. now one and eight is nine nine is the number of completion and the sun is the energy that tells you to be proactive to understand that in order to ex to, to achieve anything um with regards to to uh, love um and healing is to be proactive about it. So you have the sun, just like the moon, the sun also goes through phases. And so what they're saying to you is pay attention, especially to things that have gone on for a longer time, longer while. So what that means is if you have been in a relationship for some time, now it's time to reflect on it. Equally or conversely, if you have been single for quite some time, um, it also makes sense to look at well, what are the issues. And if you are a person that just broke up with someone a couple of weeks ago, so to speak, um, the energy is to reflect, to give things time, more time than, than, than you think you actually do need, if that makes sense, and go things a little bit slower. Okay, super, super important because sun is the only, or the sun is the only, um, planet that governs Leo and Leo needs a lot of space right so Aries what you need to understand is step back a little at the same time this is the trick you step back a little and then you see what's what and then you go for it so the proactiveness is really important here but at the same time allow yourself to rather than go in guns blazing to remove yourself first and see you know, how do I actually feel about or if anything here? Really, really important. Okay. Lastly, the areas we're looking at the um, at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March 2023 for the very sign of Aries. Now, Aries, what you're being asked is to digest. So the, the message here is the word digest. So what they're asking you is when it comes to to new opportunities before you should follow new opportunities or even go for a new position, if that makes sense. Reflect on 
how much of the things that have happened to me have I digested? Which means, you understand that bad, bad, bad digestion, bad belly? So, have I let it all go? Is there still, are there still things that sit inside me that could then also hijack any new thing I want to do, right? Are there lingering thoughts, lingering emotions even, right? What is going on with me? That's the question you should ask yourself, Aries, when it comes to new beginnings. It doesn't necessarily have to be new beginnings, but at least opportunities as to present themselves to you. So, whether or not opportunities are numerous, I can't really tell you because I'm not getting much. Um, but when they ask you to digest, that to me clearly shows that that um, just because there's tons of doors opening, you still would need to realize realize, okay, it's not so much knowing which door to choose, but am I ready to step through a new door at this point in time? And be honest to yourself, Aries, really, really important. You are the first sign in the zodiac. And because, therefore, you have uh, sometimes problems reaching out to others, asking for advice, you internalize a lot. Um, and because you have digestion as a topic, yeah, do what you do best. Internalize things before you make a decision. And should you... Should you then decide, I'm trying a door or maybe even a few, then remember to go there fully anew and fully renewed and, and, and ask yourself, you know, am I confident enough? And find that confidence, find that strength uh, before you go through any new door. Okay, dog Aries, that was your general reading for the month of March 2023 with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com medium Thomas. So guys, hope I see you next month. Bye bye.